So, uh, is this, I mean, how many times have you, like, you know, mm. do you, is this, like, a common thing? Like, is this your main source of income, sort of? You are my attention for today. We're each other for today. That's all I need to know. Okay. Okay. Sure, yeah. Sometimes it's worth it to portion out. Sometimes it's worth it to just make it happen. Just go for it, yeah. Okay, let's see. We need something to mix this up with. How about... So, uh... Right now these are just plain pancakes. Do you like anything at all? Oddly enough, I mean, I just like them plain. I just eat, I just like, I don't know. It's all supposed to mean. Just a pancake. You know, it, it's, it's like, it's real, it's, it's dirty, it's... Pancakes are dirty? Yeah, they're, they're gross. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even like them when my grandma would make them. There's just something, there's something spiritual about it, I guess. There's something kind of fucked up about it, too. I mean, I can make something else. We're just here now. No, I want the pancakes. You want the pancakes? Okay. You want the pancakes, you don't want the pancakes. You find it's hard to make decisions like that in life? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I'm basically wrapping all that up, though, so I won't have to worry about that much longer. Tell me about your grandmother. Um, she was, she was a real lady, uh, I would say. You know, not a girl, not a woman, a lady. Mm. Uh, just powerful in a really, a really understated way too. She didn't impose herself yet. She had this grandiose, matriarchal, I don't know. She seems like something special. Do you like the spirit to shine through? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want a beer? I'll take one. Thank you.
whenever you're ready for that. It's right there. <laughs> so, how, I mean, I don't know how you usually do this, but like, I'm just trying to like, like, I don't know what to talk about. Like, I've made my decision, like I'm on the road and now it's like, you know, any last words? Like, what are you supposed to say at that moment? You don't you know? have to say anything to me. Just be here. Smell the pancake. Smell the butter. Enjoy your beer. Smell the pancake. Okay. Yeah, okay, I didn't mean literally, but you... You'll smell it later. Oh, that was perfect. And that wasn't. I got you. <clears throat> oh, look at that! I haven't done that in years. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah. Did you get a plate for me? There you go. Uh. Do you think there'll be pancakes in heaven? Dude. <laughs> what? No. Dude, heaven. No, it's a, pancakes are no to heaven or no to all of it. No heaven, no pancakes in heaven, no hell, none of that shit. I just want to take a really long nap. Mm. I'm just ready to go to sleep, you know? What about after your nap? What about then? Fucking bones and dirt and worms. Bones and dirt and worms, you know? Is that why you're at the cemetery earlier? To get acquainted? What do you think's gonna happen? Just what do you think? Worst case scenario, you know, I end up in some kind of lake of fire or a fucking, or, or, or like, you know, some kind of, or maybe I, you know, reincarnate as a bug or something and okay, I don't care. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever is next because I think I've exhausted whatever is now and whatever has been of this particular now. <clears throat> You're my death doula. Right? And what does that mean? To me it means that you are here to talk me through the end. You know, I'm, I'm not even picturing you like a person right now. You're more of like a like a phantom, like the Virgin Mary shows up like right before you die type of thing, you know. At least that's how I'm perceiving the whole situation. And I really appreciate you filling that position because it would be really tough for me to actually do it all myself. There's a some semblance of accountability that I think I was looking for, so. Can I read you something from my journal really quick? Sure. <clears throat> Obviously I've thought about this a lot. Maybe a little too much. There is a force to life. Fucking Star Wars shit. Fucking Holy Spirit shit. There's a force to life and I can't fucking hold it. I can't keep it in my hands. It falls through like sand. And I see people and I think they, they are holding that right now. They can retain that. 
They can know that. They can feel that. It's palpable. But I'm not that way. But... I don't know what it is. It's the ability to hold something immaterial. The ability to... The ability to grasp onto something. But everything to me is just falling right past me. You know? It's just me in this singular vehicle drifting like a goddamn spaceship through nothing and it looks like there are things around you but they're light years away and they're just balls of fire and you know it doesn't really matter at the end of the day i've seriously hurt people i've seriously hurt myself i think i've wronged more people than would actually physically feel my absence when I'm gone. So there's like that imbalance. There's like that permanent imbalance of suffering to pleasure. And I feel like a, in a twisted mathematical sense, this would kind of level the playing field a little bit. I guess that's part of where I'm coming from. Do you think you're leaving the world a better place by leaving it? Maybe. Huh. I guess I don't really think that's any of my concern at the end of the day, which is crazy, but... I'm more concerned about myself than the world. I'm more concerned about what I need than the, the world at large or what everybody else needs. I mean, it's that way when you're in pain. Right. Okay. When you have a, when you have a knife stuck in your thigh, you know, you're not thinking about how you can get up and help somebody else, you know, order their meal or pump their car with gas or help them across the road. Mm. You know, that's in you and that is what you feel viscerally. You can't stop it. And I guess that's, you know, kind of where I'm coming from. <sighs> There's a time and a place for people of every age to go and be on their way to the next thing. We think about life well lived in old, old, old people sitting decrepit in their homes and I've seen it and it's not pretty, but <laughs> I've met 16 year olds that have lived more life and done more things and created something for themselves on this plane of reality that sometimes triumphs the people that have lived their life long. There's a difference between long and full. And right now, today, if you decide to go through with this, you are removing yourself from full. You talk about sand pouring through your fingers like you can't even feel it, like you can't even move through it. Take it as a gift. Take it as a way, a moment to sit in that. Don't make me do this today. Really don't. I will never forgive myself if I have to take the life of somebody that clearly has more to live. I've been ready for a long time. I've been ready for a really long time. How about your blueberry sandwich?
Well, let's find out. Hmm. <laughs> Turns out I don't know myself as well as I thought I did. It's fully gooey on the inside. <laughs> How is it? Yeah. A piece of shit? No. No? It's good. It's good enough. It's what I needed. I'm glad. I think I've I've reached a point of understanding what I truly am. And forgive me, but I've lived with me and known me a lot longer than anyone else has. So I'm the most qualified person to say this, but I think I truly deeply understand and know what I am and what kind of person I am. And I think I I know I deeply resent that kind of person. I hate that kind of person. Deep down. That's not... If I was watching myself in a movie and I saw myself acting out my whole day, I would despise that character. That person on screen. I would be like, I want that character to fucking die. You know? I've met I've met a few people who feel similarly. I know I'm not alone in that sentiment, but I don't know. And you think I can fix that for you? <laughs> you don't even know. I've been you I've been asking that question my whole life. You know, it's not a matter of if or I'm literally just so tired. I'm so fucking tired. So let's say I give you that poison and you choke and you die and you convulse. That thing will do all that to you. But say I hand it over to you. And you wake up in another existence as another baby or horse or bumblebee or something else entirely. Still you. What then? Hopefully I'll forget about it. Hopefully I'll forget about the past life and I'll be in a new one in like... You know, there's actually a thing about that. They say that when you uh, reincarnate... You, your memories gradually taper out in a way in your new uh, vessel, so to speak. Jesus Christ, you don't get it, do you? You can't escape yourself. You're with yourself for forever. I will give this to you today because I can see you need it and I see you want it. But you need to know what I'm doing it is not the Lord's work, and it will not solve your problems.
I didn't have a lot of fun, but I, I like to think I had enough fun. I like to think that I enjoyed it as much as I could, given the circumstances. Where was that thing you picked? That shell? That snail shell? I won't need this, probably. <laughs> Protection. Even when you don't need it. Fucking A. <laughs> Perhaps when you come back, you'll be a snail. What do you think about that? That'd be chill. That'd be that'd be fine. Yeah. Maybe you have a little snail lover, a little snail mail man, a little snail house inside of your shell. Could get up to some freaky shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. Take this back. <laughs> Pancakes were good. They were good. Good last meal. I really fucked with it. I really <laughs> did. <laughs> well. So. We're gonna have a little Snow White moment. Yeah. So, how much is enough? Oh, you are past that long ago. But hey, give it to me, I'll show you something. <laughs> this is, uh, you're about to be gone anyways, right? So I'll let you on a little secret. <laughs> Yummy. I'll be fine. What the fuck? What? what? Wait. You won't. I'll be okay. Just a little party trick I like to show people. Is that stuff gonna work? Oh yeah. It's gonna be violent. For me, but not for you. Exactly. Okay, man. Alright. Fuck it. I think it's time for me to go. You out from all the 